Hey guys, we are back back in our video game of more Persona 4 Golden. In the last episode, we went into the TV and just... You can hear Nanago calling you from downstairs. Cool! Uh, as I was saying, last time we went to like, the TV, we beat Shadow Chie and Chie got her Persona. So now we're gonna keep going and hopefully we'll be able to save Yukiko. Uh, but Nanako is calling us the phone. The phone? Wait, what? Why are we getting a phone call right now? Oh, right, 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 okay. <clears throat> it's me, Moroka. I just have something that I prepared for you. I was going to deliver it to your house, but the situation changed. I need you to come pick it up. Or, where am I? I was getting to that. <clears throat> I'm in front of the gas station in front of the shopping district. Got that? Now hurry, come pick it up. And he just ended the call. We barely said a thing. Moroka has summoned you. Oh, man, that, looks, that sounds like we're going to our death, man. It, it, freaking... Oh, right, Dojima. Um, <laughs> Dojima, sorry. Don't go wandering around at night if you don't have any reason to go out. Yeah, right, I'm, sp I'm supposed to talk to you first. Who called you just now? Don't tell me you're planning on going out at this hour. My homeroom teacher needs to see me. Your homeroom teacher wants to see you? You just transferred here and you've already done something? No, this is you we're talking about. Well, I understand. Go take care of business and hurry home. Yay, thanks Dojima, now don't get on my ass about anything, please. Okay, so he's in front He's in front of the gas station at the shopping district, right? That's where he should be. Well, yep, there he is. Is that a student? That's not a student. Oh, you're here, sooner than I expected. This is a school jersey I got for you. Go on, take it. Okay, we got the Yasuo High jersey. There are many different costumes in this game to acquire. If you put one on from the equip menu, you can walk through a dungeon in that costume. Now that you've got, get the hell out of here. I need to see this girl home. You know the way to your own house, don't you? Yeah, so, uh, if we go to our equip menu. You can see we have clothes down there. We can select winter Yasuo outfit, winter clothes, or Yasuo high jersey, and that those are the clothes we have equipped. So now when we're in the dungeons, now that we're in the dungeons, we'll be able to... Fight in our Yasuo High jerseys, which I believe you guys have them too. Yes, you do. So, yeah, you could definitely mess around with costumes a lot. Uh, if you could spend money to buy like really funny costumes and stuff. But if I mean, if I were you, I'd spend that money on like good armor and weapons and items and stuff. But you know. If you guys want to use co use the money for costumes, then go ahead, use money for costumes. I can't exactly see anything, but, uh, it's time to go to bed, because we have school tomorrow. Yay. Today's the 18th, all right. Hey. I wonder how she is doing. Probably not too well. Too much stuff happened yesterday. I hope she's back to her usual self. Well, you and me- oh, there she is. Hey. Chie. You seem kind of quiet. Oh, morning. You okay? Yep. Um, Are you sure about that? Because um, you don't sound... Thanks for everything yesterday. What? It's kind of embarrassing, you know? Well, there's nothing embarrassing about saying thank you. You two were right there to see my... Oh, yeah, that's... ...feelings and all. That is embarrassing, but you know everybody has. Yeah, everybody has that side. Everybody the has that side of them. Same thing happened to Yosuke, right? So, what was it like? Huh? Uh. uh <laughs> how, how should I put this? Um. <laughs> oh, I nearly forgot. None of that happened when yours awakened, huh? No, that's. Could that be because you've got nothing to hide? Maybe, <laughs> maybe in this game, you Nadukami has absolutely nothing to hide. Maybe you already. You know, he's okay with his true self, with his true feelings and oh, everything. Oh, so nothing happened for you? Yeah, I was kind of dull, I really. I gotta agree that you seem like a pretty open guy. There's a funny air about you. I don't know. I guess that's what draws people to you or something like that. Or something like that. Was that a compliment? <laughs> uh, it was, was that a compliment? <laughs> yep, it's a compliment. Uh, if you say so. Yeah, it is kind of, like it is kind of questionable of whether that anyway, that was a compliment what's or not. Most important right now is to rescue Yukiko. I'm I mean, yeah, dead you're not set on coming. Remember, you promised. We we're not gonna chicken out of this, you know. Oh crap! I still haven't 
going to the bathroom. If you hurry, you might be able to go, yeah. Make a dashboard, bro. Hey. Thanks for saving me. Yosuke's cool and all, but there really is something different about you. I feel like you won't let me down. I'll try my best not to. You sense Chie's gratitude to you. You feel a faint bond for into Oh, right, new pers not not new persona. New social link. It's a new social link. I believe this is a chariot. Yes, it is. This is the chariot social link with Chie. So now we'll have a boost when we boot when we fuse personas of the chariot arcana. All right, Chie's determination about us are in hands. Wake up a knockdown ally. Yes. All right. You haven't asked Chie for contact information. Ask her straight out. Say it's for the investigation. Say it's for the investigation. Oh, right. You'll need this from now on, huh? I feel like if I just said it out, like, outright, then it would have caused a scene. So, uh, you exchanged cell numbers with Chie. We have to be careful of the fact oh, my phone's going off. Sweet. Rain, right? Let's save her before that happens. Which, I don't know when the rain's supposed to fall. I think it's at the end of the month, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's it's at the end, I believe it's at the end of the month because next month is something else, and the month after that's something else, and that's something else. Anyway, uh, hello and good afternoon, all. My name is Mr. Kondo, your PE teacher. But since no way, but but since no one at the school teaches English, I'll be doubling up my roles. Don't be so disappointed. In fact, I've spent some time overseas. One week of vacation time to be exact, but that's more than enough to teach a class. No, it's really not. We'll start with the basics of the basics. The English alphabet. It starts with letter A, then B, then C, then 23 more. Maybe that was a little too basic? Alright, then I'll give you an alphabet related pop quiz then. Let's see. Narukami! The world alphabet comes from the words alpha and more than one. Oh, come on. That's easy! Beta! That's easy, man! It comes from the first two letters of the Greek alphabet, alpha and beta. By the way, any set of Western European characters in a specific order is called an alphabet. In Japan, when we say alphabet, we're talking about the English alphabet, but it doesn't only mean the English one. And we have a boost of knowledge. Whenever you answer questions correctly in class, you get a boost of knowledge by one point, which really isn't that much, but, um, you know, it, accum it accumulates and then, oh my god, I know! So basically, it's saying you could tap the voice icon up here. And then this will show what the other players did at this time. Which oh, a lot of people went. Uh, a lot of people went into the TV. A lot of people spent time with Marie, which yes, you should definitely do. Actually, we will do that. Uh, but yeah, spent time with Marie into the TV. Went straight home. I don't know why you do that. Some study at the library, and there's just one person who ate at Aya. That's interesting. But, um, first things first, let's go, let's do that quest. I want to introduce you guys to some quests, which I believe is up on the third floor. Yes, it is. Yeah, you are. You, you're a second year, right? <laughs> Why did I assume that? Because I know the ways of the world. I don't know about, I don't know you and you're, well, blah, blah, blah. I can't freaking read at all. Anyway, side quests. They're kind of self-explanatory. There's about, I think, 50 or 60 side quests in this game. Not sure. Might need to Google that. Whatever. But, uh, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of quests in this game. Uh, I think there's like 60? I think there's like 60 or something. But, uh, this guy, he literally just asks you a question. It's, it's like the easiest it's like the easiest side quest to ever do, but, um, I accept your challenge. So, basically, oh, we accepted the quest. Alright, sweet. So, it's a simple, it's, it's basically answering riddles. Yeah, we you know, when the little, like, water splash th thingies are blue, that means it's a quest that you need to accept, and when they're gray, that means it is a quest that you're currently on. So, anyway, uh... Alright, so we need to, uh, we need to solve a riddle. Okay, I'm gonna drop some stuff in two distinct categories. At the end, you gotta drop the last item in the proper category. Red is group A, gray is group B. 
White's pointed down for group A. Orange has a group B tattoo. Green's A for Sheezy. Pink is group B times infinity. Alright, so which group does black belong to? A or B? Uh, okay. okay. So green's A for... Alright, red is A. Gray is B. Green's A. Group A? So tell me what those items have in call. Come on, they're the top six uh, flag. Blah, blah, blah. Top six flag colors. Can't freaking speak. Blah. Vexiology. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Group A was four of the six most prevalent world flag colors. Yeah, like red, green, black. <laughs> There's a lot. The other two round out to top six are blue and yellow. Olympics, basically. The Olympic colors. Red, green, blue, yellow. Oh my god, I'm very, very black. <laughs> like, and then one more that I can't remember. <laughs> I must say, I wasn't expecting a second year to have such trenchant insight. Trenchant. In what high school do people use the word trenchant? Like, really? In what high school, in what world do people use the word trenchant? Like, can you honestly say, like, what... Can you honestly say that you've heard of that freaking word before? Can you guys honestly say that you've heard that word before? Really? Like, who says that? Anyway, um, all right, we can. God, what else? What is this there to do? We can go hang out with Marie. So, which I definitely recommend hanging out with Marie because if you max out Marie's social link, at the end of the game you get like a special epilogue scene, I believe. So, uh, not to mention she, like, becomes a good part of the party. She also has pretty good, uh, boosts as her social link, I believe. So, uh, I definitely recommend hanging out with, uh, with, oh my god, I forgot her name. Oh man, I feel bad now. I forgot her name, but it's Murray. It's Murray. Okay. Whew. Alrighty then. Let's head into the Velvet Room. And talk to Marie. Welcome to the Velvet. Oh, tell you about how I can offer my assistance. I can gather a number of personas you possess and provide you with the ability to fuse them. I have suggestions for the creation of powerful personas that may be of use to you. If you want to summon a new persona that you have not registered, please try the summon persona option. However, if you register a persona in the compendium, you'll be able to summon that persona by selecting check compendium. If you wish to know more about the compendium, please ask Margaret. So let's check the compendium real quick. <laughs> okay. Um. <clears throat> so basically, this is registry personas to make sure er, to you know have them in the compendium, and then you can summon them for obviously a uh, price. So Izanagi. Ukobog and Pixie all cost a little over 2,000 yen, so that's that's good to know. But you could utilize skill cards, which da, 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 clone skill cards, yada 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 yada. So we can't we can't give any skill cards, but we'll find skill cards in dungeons during shuffle time mostly. So you can give those to Marie, and then you'll be able to buy them from her uh, for a price, obviously, and then. Skill cards basically teach your personas a certain uh, skill. So uh, now we're going through. I'm going to explain the fusions, which you know it's really not that hard. The fusion forecast, first of all, um, basically fusion forecasts. It's different effects that happen during your fusions. Like if I fuse the persona today, there's no trigger, but my Trigger is like what condition needs to be met, which there are no conditions. The effect is obviously the effect, what's going to happen to the persona. It's like if I fuse personas today, I'll get some bonus stats. I'll get like a points up on my attack, defense, luck, strength, whatever. If I fuse tomorrow and I use the persona of a magician arcana, I can get a Zeo added, which is, if you remember, the uh. Oh my god, I'm very funny. The electric skill that Izanagi has now with fusions there's normal summoning and triangle spread there's like a normal spread and triangle spread 
that's all we have as of right now. As we go along with the story, of course, we'll get more and more fusion options. For now, these are all we have. Normal summoning, you know, pick two personas and you could fuse them. Ooh, I can get Q-Sith already? It's level 10, though. And triangle spread, pick three personas, he could fuse into a single persona. Which, you know, you would guess that, you know, more more personas into a fusion would equal more uh, strong personas, but it doesn't always work out that way. So my search is, uh, basically, if you don't know which personas you need to fuse, you just go to the search and it shows all the personas that you can fuse as of this moment with the personas that you have. Which, as of right now, we can only get three personas, Apsaras, Senri, and Q-Sith, but two of these were not on a high enough level for. So really, the only one we could get is Apsaras. So, you could also use the voice icon, which are, which basically shows which personas that other people fused today. A lot of people fused Q-Sith. I don't know how they managed that, seeing as... I'm only level 5 right now, maybe they're New Game Plus, or I don't know. Maybe they just grinded a lot before going after Chie. Maybe they're in Merciless Mode. Not Merciless Mode, that's Persona 5. Maybe they're in Very Hard Mode, so they had to like grind up a lot. But that's uh, pretty much everything we have here. Now, check on Dwellers. That basically has you listen to... Uh, we'll talk to Margaret, because Margaret also has a social link. Uh, you can talk to Marie, as I said, she also has a social link, and then check SL completion, which is your social link. Basically, you can check that, and Margaret will tell you how you are doing with the social links, which is, she basically says, like, one line, like, you're going at quite a clip. So, that's pretty much all she says. But, today, the real reason we're here is to hang out with Marie. Uh... I don't have any. I do, but it's not for now. I'm telling you wouldn't help anyway. Damn it! Damn it! Oh wait, is it on the 18th or is it after the 18th? I swear it's after the 18th. Well, but wait, people hung out with Marie today then. Cause people did hang out with Marie today. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not drunk or something. Like people did hang out with Marie today. That's what it showed. So I would guess, like, if they could hang out with Marie, then you can... Today's the voice link. Because look, a lot of people spent time with Marie. A lot of people studied at the library, too. What? what? Look, how many people spent time with Marie? Look at that. A lot of people went to the TV, too. Maybe the people that spent time with Marie are in New Game Plus. I don't know. If you're in New Game Plus, it basically carries over your, like, current social links and stuff, which you can get from, like, these files. It's from different endings, you know. They're, like... Different endings that you get from the game for when you first play the game. This is, I'm not playing New Game Plus, I'm playing just a normal new game, which is why I don't have like any bonuses or anything. But for now, let's just head to Junez and explore Yukiko's castle a bit more because we really do need to save Yukiko in time. Which is like before the end of the month. Um, how much money? I have 8,000. I don't think I could buy anything. Oh, wait, no, I could buy, I need to buy stuff for Chie, don't I? I, need, I think I need to buy stuff for Chie, damn it. Okay, back to the shopping district we go. Let's buy some armor for Chie and hope so, hopefully get Yosuke a better weapon than freaking wrenches. Alrighty then, you in, bruh? And you're here. So what you can do is sell your materials that you get, and with those materials, he or Daedra will create new... Uh, new... New weapons, new armor, new accessories for you to use. So you could also spend that. You could also sell some of your items, but I wouldn't recommend doing that because um they're kind of useful, especially the revival beads and especially the freaking chest keys. But feel free to sell your materials as be like as often as you can, because they will give you some items that you can't like. Find normally. Oh my god, why is it suddenly so cold in here? Whoa, okay. I don't know if I'm getting chills, I don't know if I'm sick, but suddenly it's cold or something in here. Uh, oh man. If we have a lizard charm now? What does that do? Increase magic by one. And Vigor Fob. Increase max HP by 10, but that cast us 12,000. Whoa. Okay, more importantly, oh wait, we already have Chia stuff? Huh. Okay, we already have, uh, 
Let's buy Yosuke's weapon. Yes, equip him. Let's sell the wrench. 5,000 yen. Dang it! Yours is 7,000? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Why is yours so expensive? Alright then, Chia, you're gonna have to deal with your normal leather boots for now. Let's go back to... Oh yeah, if you press the square button, this little pop-up thing will show up, and then you like quick travel and stuff. Not really anything too important, but at the same time it might be important, so... Uh... Well, I was gonna say something and I completely forgot, but let's head into the TV. Let's gather one at food court. Let's check the weather forecast because we need to know when it rains. Right. Alright, let's check the weather report. Okay, there's one day of rain on Thursday, but it, the fog only comes after multiple days of rain, so I think we're fine. We're fine for this little week right now. Alright. Alright, then, let's enter the TV. Let's. Go save Yukiko, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. Let's we'll be able to save Yukiko. Um and we're so nee, 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 nee. You're late! I was gonna cry if you didn't show up today. Huh? No time to wipe my tears. Oh, you're right! Let's go save the lost girl. I'll take you to the castle. Alright, you'll be finding shells while searching for missing, and so it's a good idea to buy better gear and power personas you earn in battle at the Velvet Room. You recover SP and HP depleted from your battles with shadows by returning to your house and resting, but note that the day will progress. After several days of rain, the possibility of fog becomes high. You must re rescue the missing before the fog appears or the game will end. Let me know we're ready. Save right now. We've already been to the Velvet Room and I, might ex I think I've explained everything there. So, really, you can talk to Yosuke if you want to head back to that shopping district with Saki's issue. Uh, you can talk to Chie, and I think that leads you to the castle, too. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Yikes. Um. <clears throat> but let's talk to Teddy, and let's go search for Yukiko. Alright, then. Okay, I'm sorry. This is a good song. <laughs> this is a good song, man. Uh, so, we're gonna... Take this. All right, we got go homes. Sweet. So using go home or go homes or go homes, whatever you want to call them, by using those you get automatically teleported back to the entrance of a dungeon without having to walk back all of those floors. And then the next time we come to that dungeon, you can start from the floor you're previously on. So basically, these are good items that you kind of need to have with this game. So, uh, oh my god, I feel sick. Whew, anyway. Teddy has something to say. Sunset, can I borrow you for a second? The hall here seems different from before, so this place might get pretty tricky. But I'm with you. Don't worry, Sensei. Leave it to me to show the way. Curse signs can be seen in the map in the lower left of the screen, which you guys can see right there. It's that green thing with that black thing. So press the start button to see how much of the current floor you've explored. The dungeon still layout changes from floor to floor, so be careful not to get lost. And we're connecting a network. Da -da -da. You set SOS messages and aid back and forth among other players currently connected to the PlayStation Network. You would like to use this function, touch the SOS button. Yeah, that's when you kind of ask for help if you're stuck in place. Press the start button, you'll be able to see how much of the floor you've uh, discovered or explored. As you can see, we haven't really done much. Probably because we just got here, but let's head in and. Oh. Shadow. See if I can get the sneak attack on it. I don't know why. Bull crap. Did I get it? No, I did not. Damn it. And you. There's one enemy. Smash it. I didn't change Chie's tactics, did I? You're weak to win. No, damn it. I'm so used to Persona 5. One enemy. Fight, fight. Dang it, I'm used to Persona 5. You press like the triangle button to use your skills, but then it's different here. Oh man, I'm so used to Dang it, I messed that up. Well, crap. That's fine. We're strong enough to beat it with one hit anyway. Anyway, as you guys probably saw, we all were wearing our jerseys. Actually, we're all wearing our jerseys right now. Would you look at that? And let's grab this. What's in here? A life stone. That, re that covers 30% of your HP, I believe. Which is good. Like It's a whole one-third of your HP recovered. So... They're really good, because they especially recover a lot of uh, HP later on when you're, like, higher levels. But, oh, yeah, we're back on the first floor, aren't we? Die, you little... Oh, right, we've got a player adventure. Sweet. 
Your weak to electricity. Good to know. Good to know. Do I kill you in one go? No, I do not. Okay. Good to know. I wanted to make sure I wasn't wasting SP if I killed you in one go, because I would just rushed it. Alright, so now we have our attack with three people. The protagonist, Yosuke, and Chie. Which, you know. I think it does a bit more. I think, like, depending on who's on your party, the number, like, the damage you do changes. Uh, cards have various effects, but drawing a card with one more will allow you to draw another card immediately. You can only draw one card in your mind, but drawing one more will grant you a possibility of obtaining more cards. When all cards in your mind are obtained, there will be a special bo a special bonus will occur. If you get that chance, be sure to go after it. So right now, we could do uh, one more and change a card on hand into a Persona card. Not that card I wanted to change, damn it. I wanted to change this one, but okay, fine. I kind of wanted that chess key. Anyway, now we have a new persona, Slime, which, what do you do? I want to check you out. You bash an evil touch, and you learn Tarunda at level 3. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, well, there isn't really... At this point, ooh, stairs. Uh, once you presume the stairway is known, you can instantly move on to the next floor from the menu, access with the square button. So yeah, we press the square, we move on to the next floor, or return to the entrance, but a shadow saw us, so hi! We need to fight you now. Dang it. Yosuke is up! Yeah, it's not hard, especially after that, so... Let's do this! And the rest of this video is literally just gonna be me heading up to... Like, trying to get the Yukiko. Shuffle time again! Wow, alright. Half EXP, which I don't know why do you want that, but... Dang it, we already have Ukobak. Nothing happened. Yeah, because we already own Ukobak. So, yeah, in that case, with a Persona you already own, if you select that, you will not obtain a second copy of that Persona. It's not how it works. You'd only own one person like, one of that same Persona at a time. But anyway... Sensei, are you okay? You're not tired? You could use those things to give you back the entrance to come back. It's tiring walking back. You can instantly return to the entrance with using escape items and skills. If you use an item or skill to return to the entrance, you can restart your progress from before you escaped. Make use of this. Yes, like I said earlier. Use this often. I sent someone behind this door. Someone's behind- we're on the second floor, eh? Who's behind the door? Yukiko! Yukiko? Yukiko-san, are you alright? Yukiko, what's wrong? <laughs> oh my, special guests. I wonder how they'll play into all this. <laughs> Things are really heating up. Okie dokie, I'm going back to hunt for my Prince Charming. Oh, where could he be? This place is huge. It's so exciting, but it makes it so hard to find him. Oh, maybe he's playing hide and seek in the fog. <laughs> Ready or not, here I come. Let's go further in then, shall we? Princess Eve goes hunt for her Prince Charming. That's what the show's called, apparently. What the hell is this? It's a midnight channel. It's a TV no. show, isn't it? Oh, That's the suppressed emotions that she has. Anyway. The shadows are getting agitated. Well, that's not good. Well, I'm off again. <laughs> you better be waiting with bells on, my dear prince. Bells? Hey, wait! That clearly wasn't the real Yukiko. It had to be... We know, it's her shadow. I think it was. It must have been the other part of herself. Yeah, it's her shadow. So it's just like what happened to us. But I don't think she was excited for nothing. The real Yukiko wants to show us something. I can feel it. Like, technically, the shadow is the real person because, you know, the true self, the suppressed feelings that they have inside themselves, that they, lo like, they lose control of those feelings. It's anyway. It's hard to explain. It seems like she has a strong connection to this castle. 
This is a lot more dangerous than I thought. Then why are you smiling? Yukiko! Gee, don't run off on your own again! Not again. Damn it, we told her not to run off on her own. Chie, come on, you're making this more complicated for you and us. Oh my god, Chie. Wait, she's with us. Dang it. I thought she ran away. I thought she ran ahead. Man. I like actually thought she ran. Oh, you hear voices from somewhere. My friends will soon come for me. I'll always be waiting. Forever and ever. Hmm, I hear her voice. But all I sense around here are you and the shadows. Watch out for the shadows and keep going. Shadows have a wild field vision and will immediately come for you if they notice you. If a shadow attacks you, there is a chance that your enemies will be able to make their first move in combat, so be careful. When a shadow assets back to you, carefully get in, get in close, and smack it. A shadow cannot see things directly behind it. If you approach it from behind and hit it, you'll be able to attack first, as what you've been doing kind of recently, if you paid attention. It's a, t it's a game. It's a tutorial screen. Ooh. Oh, it's one of those lock chests. Okay. Turn around, you ass. Turn around, you ass. So they can see your teammates, but as long as they don't see you, then, or like you, the protagonist. The... Oh, shoot! <laughs> I didn't see that. Oh, man, I'm so glad I saw that in time. <laughs> if I didn't see that in time, they would have gotten enemy advantage. If I did, I'm so glad I saw. Oh, damn it, you. Is this that? Electricity, let's see how you do with that, huh? You're probably gonna. Oh, no, you're weak to electricity. Sweet. Thanks, Teddy. I'm literally using the most SP out of anyone here. Good thing I saw that in time, or else I would have. Oh, oh, dang, they didn't, didn't die. I think this is a good time to go for a uh, rush. I need to change T Chie's tactics, dang it. Whoa. Who are you weak against? Oh, wait, no, you're weak against fire? I think. Right? That's what you're weak. Are you weak against fire? Or am I confusing that with something else? Nope, you're weak against fire. And I can't change personas twice in one turn, so I might as well do more damage to you. Hey, you're dizzy, yes. Yeah, well, let's get him down, and then we'll do another all-out attack. Oh, man, there's something in my eye. I don't know what that is. Uh, uh hey, uh, how about you don't do that? I need to change GA's tactics. Oh, shuffle time. New persona, please? New persona? No new personas. Oh well, recover HP, SP. That's like the best thing here. Now it doesn't like completely recover your HP or your SP. It just recovers a small portion depending on what level, uh, or what rank that card is. I, what, we had a rank 2 recovery thing. Oh, the Shadow Spirit. Uh, I swear it appears like right behind us. I'm actually gonna throw this Vita at the freaking wall. Hey, we got an accessory from the chest. But as you saw, we need a chest key to open that. If you don't have any chest keys, you cannot open those large chests. So, basically, like, check all, as many chests as you can. Get chest keys. Oh, no, you're a red one. You're a red one, huh? Ah, you're... Damn it. I smell two enemies. Beat them up. So, if you guys don't know, the red ones are, like, the, the stronger shadows in the area. So like I think this is like the stronger share. This these guys are like the stronger shadows in the areas compared to uh you know compared to the others like the one that like you know that weird fish one and you know I don't know the names of the shadows okay I don't know their names all right I literally just know how they look like and what and maybe what I'll remember what they're weak to every once in a while maybe oh I didn't change your tactics again. Damn it, I didn't change your tactics again. Gathering How about you don't? We won. Yeah, we did. And we're still working on Jersey. Uh, Alright, level 6. You learned Sukukaja. Good, good, good. Now, Sukukaja is a skill that increases your uh, your accuracy and your evasion. So, you know, it's a, it's a good skill to have, especially if you're like somewhat underleveled or low on... How about... 
about you don't do that for right now. Are you still coming after me? Yes, you are! Wait, why am I running? Why am I running? Hold on a second. Get over here. Why am I running? It's not like I'm low on HP or anything. I didn't change tactics I again. One enemy. You can do it. Cool, but I didn't change tactics again, Teddy. Yeah, someone else's turn. Yeah, someone else's turn. You're fine. You need a heal, though. Tactics. TA. Direct commands. I don't know why I do keep forgetting to do that, but I do. Oh, man. Yes, it is down. Let's keep going. I really, I should probably, like, cut these out during editing or something, huh? Because like, these, these get kind of tedious after a while. Like, yeah, first few battles, it's tutorial areas, so, you know, get used to the mechanics and everything. Right, I need to heal. Yosuke, you can heal yourself to a pretty good number, actually. Uh, but let's... Why? I just beat you! I just killed you! Why? There's one enemy! Smash him! That's some thick skin! Yeah, that is kind of thick skin. Oh my gosh, I literally just killed you! Why do you respawn here? And I'm almost out of SP too, that's great. Good to know that I only have 9 SP left. Good to freaking know. Oh yeah, now that we're Chie, I might as well show you. She, she doesn't have like any elemental moves yet. Yet. For right now, she, all she has is a physical move, skewer, and Tarukaja, which increases your attack. But for right now, we'll just do normal attacks. Or, or you can miss too, you know, that helps a lot. <sighs> yeah, I did it alright. Oh, Ukubak level up, we learned Plimpa. What does that do? Oh crap, I don't remember what that does. Is that like a panic thing? Or crap, I don't know what you do. Make one foe panic. Okay, yeah. You induce panic at the foe. So basically, once a foe panics, I don't think, like, I think it's like they don't have control of their own movements anymore. So, like, they'll kind of, you know, they'll attack randomly or something like that. Welcome. Thank you for coming to the Yamagi Inn today. Your room is right this way. If we could help you in any way, please let us know immediately. What is this voice talking about? This place is an inn. It's totally a castle. Well, in real life... Maybe this is what she views the inn as. Oh, hi. Okay, those guys. Those guys are rare shadows that if you can beat them, if you can beat them. A rare monster. Beat the stuffing out of it. Yeah, a rare monster. If you can beat them in time before it runs away, then you get like a boost of, you get more experience and more money than you do from a normal fight. So, oh, crap. Right, because you resist all elements. Actually, I should probably use physical skills to do more damage, because you resist all elements, don't you? Yes, it is very thick skin, Yosuke. Good on you for noticing. Uh, I can still fear, but that'll make it more likely to run away, dang it. Um, you have Bash. You're level 2. Izanagi! We'll switch over to Izanagi. And have you do some damage with Cleave. Actually, I should probably should lower your defense so I, I do a bit more damage, but oh well. We're just gonna all go with physical skills and hope, hope that you don't run away from us. Because you probably will, and I'm probably gonna really throw this damn thing at the wall. It might be a waste to use Rakunda on this guy, but oh well. I kind of want the extra experience and the extra money, alright? I don't know about you, but oh, hi, you're finally taking the offensive, huh? I don't know about you, but I kind of want more experience and more money than I normally get. It's not going down. Yes, I can tell, Yosuke. <laughs> anyway. Oh my god, come on, you're so close. And my phone is going off, and I need probably need to check that. Yeah, you're bewildered. Ah, you're bewildered. Oh crap, you're gonna run away soon, aren't you? You're gonna run away soon, aren't you? Come on, you're almost dead. Die! 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 I swear this misses. Alright, you're dead. Yes. Thank you. Eh, huh? It's another enemy. Show what you oh, you! Are you weak? Aren't you weak against fire? I think you're weak against fire, right? Or is that something else that I'm confusing you with? 
I really hope you're weak against fire. I really hope I'm not making a mistake. You're not weak against fire. Damn it. Defense up. Oh. Let's try wind then. You can't try ice because you don't know. Oh, you're weak against wind. All right then. All right then, I guess. You're weak against wind, huh? I don't know why I thought it was fire. Maybe it's an enemy from later on in the game. All you have is a physical move, huh? Well, since it's all you have, might as well use it. Yeah, I can tell. Maybe. How are you with electricity? By the way, it's good to find out what, like, all the affinities of your enemies if you can. Since the protagonist can hold multiple personas at once, it's a good idea to use, like, a variety of different elemental skills and physical skills and figure out what works best against the opponent. You know, obviously, wind does its job, but, you know, there are some opponents that have multiple weaknesses. So it's good to always experiment with those. Shuffle time, hey. Uh, we get a skill card, we recover our HP or SP, and we get a chest key. This is hard, this is hard, this is hard. Um, let's see, skill card will probably be a low level skill card, something like Aki or Zio. HP, SP recovery, we kind of need that SP recovery seeing as I'm really low. On SP, but yeah, I could always do physicals. And then Chesky, we have two of those, so I think we're good. So let's just get the skill card. Because Sharp Student. Sh oh, hey, I'm level 8 now. Sweet. Izanagi is level 5. Hey. I think you skipped level 4, did you? Or am I just being stupid? And you got to level 8 too, nice. You were Makajam at 10, huh? All right. Level 7, alright, so Chie finally has her own elemental skill, which is Bufu, which is a ice attack. Skullcracker, alright, you learned that at 11. Whoa, why am I getting chill? Yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. I just need Yosuke to heal me up. Do you mind, Yosuke? No, you don't. Because I'm the team leader and I'm ordering you around. And I don't know why you don't have a problem with this, but you don't, huh? Oh, yeah, that is a chest right there. Let's grab it. A snuff soul. SP recovery items, yes. SP recovery items are, like, the best and most valuable items in this game because I don't... You can't buy them in stores, so... You kind of need to rely on the dungeons to hopefully give you some and FM stairs. Sweet. Actually, the fifth floor has something, doesn't it? I think something's hap something happens on the fifth floor, doesn't it? Where is she? I can sense her. She must be on this floor. Well, we'll save that for next time. Till then, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!